Hey guys, Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com today with another exclusive tutorial, this time installing CyanogenMod 7, the easier method. Okay, now as many of you know, I had the original CyanogenMod 7 video back when Cyanogen Mod 7 was just released for Captivate and a few other devices in the Galaxy S arena. Well, with time, the development has actually overflowed into a different method of installing where the original video doesn't seem to work so great anymore. So I decided to go ahead and show you guys how to install it nowadays with the all new easier method which is much similar to flashing a standard ROM. First, flash back the stock using Odin one click. You can follow my video there to learn more about that. Let's go ahead and verify that we have flash back the stock and we can see that we're on JF6. Great. Now, open up the two links in the description below for the CyanogenMod 7 thread on xdadevelopers.com as well as the CyanogenMod Mirror Network and go ahead and download the latest nightly build for Captivate. This particular tutorial will cover Captivate for right now. I'll make a note and annotation as soon as I find out that it supports Vibrant as well, but for now, only follow this method if you're on a Captivate phone. But as I just mentioned, be sure to keep an eye out for a note saying that this does work for Vibrant. Once you've downloaded this file, plug in your phone and be sure to get it to the phone itself. You can check this out here and we can see CM Captivate Full 16, so we've got the build file on there. Now we need to verify that we have three button combo working correctly. So let's go ahead and do that. Power the phone off. And to verify three button combo, we simply need to enter recovery mode using the three button combo. So once the phone powers off, remember you have to give it, I don't know, 10 seconds. I sure like the Froyo and Gingerbread uh, new style where it vibrates when it turns off. That way you know for sure that it's turned off. So it's probably off by now. Volume down, volume up. Hold those two, hold power, continue to hold until you see the AT&T screen. Let go of all three, and let's see if we get to recovery mode. If you do, you have three button fix. If you don't, you don't. And if you can't get to recovery mode like we just did, be sure to follow my three button fix guide here and ensure that you have that up, running, and working correctly before we go to the next step. Okay, so since we have three button fix, we are ready to flash a compatible kernel uh, for MTD flashing, which is what the Captivate uh, Synergy Mod 7 is built on versus the standard BML RFS partitioning system that Samsung builds its ROMs on. So that's why we need an MTD based Clockwork Mod Recovery to install the new one. So now we need to enter download mode. If you need help finding out how to enter download mode, you can do so by watching this video here. Now we're going to use our $8 USB jig that's available at the link in the description below at mobiletechvideos.com. They're just 8 bucks and it enables download mode very easily. So we can go ahead and plug it in and get download mode very simple. If you don't have this, just watch the video, learn how to get to download mode, or a quick tip is most phones, if the three button fix is working correctly, hold volume down, volume up, and plug the USB cable in while holding those buttons, and you should get there as well. All right, now, if you don't have it, go ahead and download Odin from the link in the description below, as well as the speed mod kernel from the link in the description below as well. Once you've downloaded Odin, open it up and plug the phone in. We should get a COM port as long as all our drivers are installed correctly. So there's our COM port, that means our drivers are installed and Odin sees the device in download mode. Now just click PDA and browse out to wherever you downloaded the speed mod kernel to. So here's ours here. We'll double click and we'll turn off auto reboot for the checkbox there. Then we'll click start. The phone will flash the kernel as we see there and we'll get a pass logo up here as soon as everything goes correctly, which it did. Unplug and do a battery pull. And now we're going to use our three button combo to get to recovery mode and flash our ROM. So volume down, volume up, hold those two, and press power. Let go when you see the AT&T screen. And we should go directly into recovery mode from this point. Once we're in recovery, we can choose install zip from SD card just as you would installing any other standard ROM. Browse down to the latest nightly build that you've put on the phone in the previous step. Select it and say yes. It's going to check the BML status, MTD status. It'll do a quick reboot and it'll come right back into recovery mode and finish flashing the ROM. So here I will do a quick speed up. Sorry for my camera work there. 
and we'll show you guys what this looks like when we're all done and we'll recap what we did and boom you'll have signage in month 7 like it was no big deal Alright, now we're back up and we have Sanjamon 7 running with our latest flash build. You can check out the about me info as soon as everything loads up here. But uh, it was that easy to flash this. Now, I recommend you go back to stock as we mentioned in the video, although you probably can get away with simply flashing a kernel uh, for speed mod and just doing it like that. Although I still recommend you go back to stock for almost everything. So let's go into our settings, check about phone. Okay, looks good. The nightly build from May 25th, 2011. Everything looks solid. And now we have Cyanogen Mod 7 on our phone with no issues. That's Cyanogen Mod 7 flashing it with the all new easier method brought to you by MobileTechVideos.com. Be sure to bookmark us, subscribe to us here on YouTube. We just passed the million view mark and we really appreciate you guys. And if you're new to here, uh, we'd love to have you as a subscriber. Be sure to check out that $8 USB jig, over 1100 sold making us the worldwide seller uh, of choice in the USB jig market. We can also debrick Captivates, install LCD screens, and debrick a ton of phones, no matter what state of brick they are in. So if you find yourself in a brick situation, be sure to check us out, mobiletechvideos.com. We'd love to fix that for you. And also check out our product section. We have lots of cool things over there, um, such as cases and a few other things that you can check out as well. So be sure to... Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and bookmark the site, mobiletechvideos.com. We thank you for joining us today, and look forward to seeing you on the next video.